Hi everyone. We are still under portfolio theory. And in portfolio theory, there are some basic assumptions that have been made when we are treating uh, portfolio theory. One of the assumptions made is investors are rational and behave in a manner as to maximize their utility with a given level of income. Yes, said the investors are rational. A rational investor is, a, is one that tends to maximize his return and minimize his risk. He is common to you and I and to every business organization I want to grow. Tends to do what to you maximize your return and minimize your risk. So one of the assumptions is that investors are rational and behave in a manner. Investors are rational and behave in a manner as to maximize their utility with a given level of income. Another critical assumption, another important assumption made in portfolio theory is that investors have free access to fair and correct information on the risk and on the return and risk. Because it is assumed that before an investor invests his money, his resources are in a given set of securities, he will have made a detailed what, analysis on what to, on the correctness, on what on the return and risk of that particular uh, security or my or particular investment they want to invest his money on. So another assumption is that the market is efficient and absorbs the information quickly and perfectly. And the market is efficient and absorb the information quickly and perfectly. Have an analyze uh, the, the investment, so it tends to do what it can tends to do what to move uh, with the market, understanding how efficient the information uh, so how efficient you can be able to make use of the information you gather from the market to, to, to make good your investment. So another assumption is that investors base decision on expected return and variance or standard deviation of this return from the mean. So it's assumed that investors, so haven't calculated what the standard deviation, which is the risk of the security is, they can base their decision on what to on the expected return, whether to invest on the in the security or not. Uh, another assumption is that um, investors choose higher returns to lower returns for a given level of risk. Definitely. So the return it tends to do what to motivate an investor. Uh -huh. So um, there's need to do what to consider the return in relationship to the risk. Because some investment normally gives us what the, the, the rule is that the higher the return, the higher the risk. While the lower the return, the lower the risk. So you need to strike a balance between these in order for you to do what to do to, do what, to, to maximize your return and minimize your risk. So these are basic assumptions of uh, portfolio theory. In portfolio theory, that when you that the postulators of this theory have seen, have carried out over some times, trying to analyze uh, the behavior of uh, of investors and in trying to do what to make good their portfolio, in order to make it uh, efficient. I mean, to have an efficient portfolio. So these are the assumptions. Oscillated uh, in in portfolio theory. So to this we call this uh, a, a pause, pause here today on this video on absorption. So subsequent video as it coming. So I'm going to treat the capital markets line. So I'm going to treat the capital markets line. After that, uh, I'm going to look at portfolio expected return and. Standard deviation. We still have covariance. We still have correlation coefficient. And uh, what are the problems in portfolio theory? So from there, we now move to solve question to practicalize what the theoretical aspect I'll be talking about on portfolio theory. So at this junction, I'm going to go to the class now. 
So, thanks for listening and I appreciate you. If you are yet to do or to subscribe to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button. I'll be glad you do so. So, if you have any comments, any question, kindly go to the comment section, put down your comment, and I'll be glad to do or to, uh, to respond to your comment. If you have not subscribed, click on the subscribe button, like the video, share the video, invite students preparing for exams to, 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 to join the YouTube channel and to be a wonderful experience. Thank you and God bless. I remain yours, Abdurrahman.